Hi there. Please don't expect immediate hypnosis today. As the hypnotic induction sequence in this audio or video session has a historical background dating back at least to the 1930s and was first published as text in 1948. It's closing in on its centennial fast, so I thought I'd just race to get there ahead of it. <laughs> Let's go really old school today. I, your hypnotic priestess, have noticed a sharp increase in the release of hypnotic media on both YouTube and other media platforms. Type simply doesn't matter. Interest in hypnomedia is on the rise in general. I now present this hypnotic effect in its original form, updated for the 21st century. And so, let us begin. As you either listen to me on audio or watch the video version of this session, I know there are some who have never experienced a directly induced hypnotic trance, and that is just fine. Every one of us begins as an object subject for hypnosis by a hypnotist, in spite of trance being a completely natural state we experience many times a day. And the interesting thing about that is these everyday trances happen all by themselves, without any effort on our part. So the very first thing I want you to do is rest your hands comfortably at your sides if lying down and on your thighs if sitting. And now I want you to notice how comfortably they lie there, apparently without motion. There's actually motion there. It's simply not apparent as yet. Next, I'd like you to close your eyes now that your arms and hands are completely comfortable and turn your gaze inwards and upwards to a spot centrally located between your eyes. When you have done that, whilst looking up, try to open your eyes and find that you can't. Good. Now allow your eyes to return to their normal resting position and let your eyelids relax again. And now open your eyes. Next, let's go right back to those comfortably resting hands and arms. Did you realize that your unconscious mind can be given its own voice and ability to communicate? Here is how that works. In a few moments, not now, but in a few moments, I'll address your unconscious directly, asking it to choose one hand and one finger on that hand to respond to me. Your unconscious will then cause its selection to rise. Be patient. The response may not be immediate. Unconscious mind of my viewer or listener, this is your own personal hypnotist speaking. I want you now to take front seat for the remainder of this session. Raise the selected finger on the selected hand to indicate to my subject 
that you've completed this action. And now that your unconscious mind has made its decision, I want you to notice another interesting fact. The hand and arm which responded is now under the full control of the unconscious rather than the conscious. You no longer have control of that particular limb. Let me show you. Watch that hand very carefully. Focus all your attention right there. And notice, really notice, every feeling that hand presents. You may begin to feel any of the following. Warmth. Coolness, tingling, heaviness. And as you continue to notice any developing feelings, you see the spaces between the fingers of that hand slowly begin to widen. And as this happens, unconscious, can you further prove your own control to us both by allowing that hand and arm to become gradually and completely free of the source of gravity? Let's set the rate at which this will occur. Say, one half of a G, which is a gravity unit, per 10 numbers. And at the halfway point, you allow me, your own personal hypnotist, to take over NAV and effects guidance. I will count for you now. One. You feel the sensation of weight begin to leave your hand. And since that sensation belongs to an actual law of physics, at two, what has been lost here must be found elsewhere. Three, unconscious mind, your second choice is now ready to be made. Four, do my subject size begin to feel heavy first? Or will my subject begin to feel a sense of tiredness? Leading to drowsiness first. Five. Halfway to initial point of trance step verification. Make your choice now. Six, and as both your unconscious mind and myself can be quite the trickster pair. Seven, surprise, whichever is chosen immediately and irresistibly links to the unchosen.
eight. So if I heaviness is chosen, deep drowsiness and exhaustion follows. Nine. And of course, the opposite if drowsiness is the choice. Ten. Halfway there. Unconscious. If the hand in question remains on thy bed or chair, it now loses contact with that surface. Eleven. That hand gets lighter. And you get sleepier. I wonder when it becomes irresistible. Twelve. And still lighter. Now floating in the air. Rising up. So tired and sleepy now. Wishing to surrender to these feelings. Thirteen, as my voice becomes your universe, surrounding, enfolding, irresistible, more and more sleepy the higher that hand rises. Fourteen, and the more sleepy you get now, the faster it rises, beginning now to turn towards your face. Fifteen. But, in spite of how tired and sleepy you feel now, you cannot and will not fall asleep until I command it. You cannot and will not fall asleep until I command it. Seventeen, and since no command can come until that hand touches your face, hand freezes midair. Now, slowly losing all sensation and becoming stiff and rigid, more and more still, stiff and rigid, number by the second. Eighteen. The more stiff, numb and rigid now, the less your resistance to the sleepiness, eyes blinking uncontrollably. Wanting to sleep so very badly, but unable to do so without my command. Wanting to sleep so very badly, yet unable to do so without my command. Nineteen. You hear only my voice now, as I now command that even stiff and rigid, that arm moves now on its way to the final. Twenty. Your stiff, rigid hand is drawn to your face like steel to magnet as it touches. It's Fix their unyielding, as I command you to sleep now. Sleep now. Sleep deeper. More and more deeply with each passing moment. Sleep so deeply that only my own command could ever wake you. 
as the rigidity leaves your arm now, magnetism release, it drops to your lap, and you drop into ever deeper sleep for me. One hundred times deeper. One thousand times deeper. Ten thousand times deeper. I will now be silent for a few moments. And you will keep descending. You will keep dropping. You will continue to plummet into deeper and deeper sleep. When I speak again, it will neither bother nor disturb you. You will hear my voice as though from within a dream. You are very deeply asleep now, but you are unaware of the fact that you can still sleep even more deeply for me. Every word I say takes you into deeper sleep, 
every sensation you feel, every thought that leaves your nearly empty mind, takes you deeper and deeper until all you have left is the sound of my voice and my suggestions, my guidance, my commands, my commands that invade your mind pleasurably, touching you, teasing you, helping you want to listen more and more closely. Your skin becoming sensitive at the touch of my voice. Your eyes closing more and more tightly as my voice invades your mind. Unable to awaken, able only to feel the deep pleasure my voice engenders within you, leaping ever more deeply, feeling even more pleasure, wanting, needing to surrender to the voice that takes you so deeply into hypnotic sleep. My voice is pure control. My voice is also pure pleasure. Where will you feel the pleasure first? Will it be within your mind? Or will it be within your body? Everyone likes to feel the pleasure of touch. Feel the touch of my words. Stroking your body. Stroking your mind. And the more you hear, the more you want to obey. The more you hear, the deeper you wish to sleep. My words turning into pure pleasure, pure control. Now, pleasure that you do not wish to cease. Control that makes you ache with need. The need to surrender to a powerful entity, an entity whose power is undeniable. It strokes you here, it touches you there, and there is no way to escape the pleasure. There is no way to escape the control. As unconscious mind listening to me raises your hand to indicate acceptance of my deep control of your mind and body. you unconscious for that response. I'm sure the conscious agrees with you. So, liking my control becomes loving my control. Loving my control becomes needing my control. Your choice, unconscious, feeds to the conscious, knowing what you will want and need when you finally awaken. 
pleasure still lamping with each word. Me growing with the pleasure. And when you have accepted the need fully, you will do what you need to make the pleasure culminate. Control need driving you. Pleasure acceptance driving you. Accept my control. Acknowledge your need. Mm. Feel completion as you do so. For as you are the lock, I am the key to your mind, to your body, to your spirit as you accept and surrender completely now. Feeling the joy of that surrender Knowing that a bond is forming, a bond that you wish to happen, a bond that you wish to complete. Tell me of your need. Tell me of your acceptance. You know how to do this. And you will. On waking, you will wake slowly because you've gone a very long way, much, much farther than you realize. And when you wake, you will know what you want. And what you need. We went from one to twenty down. We go from twenty to one up. And I can count from twenty to one in any increment I please. Beginning at 20, and daylight seems so far away, up to 19, a little closer, but yet quite distant, 18, 16, 15. And one quarter awake. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Way awake. Nine. Seven. Seven, nine, ten, and half asleep. Twelve, thirteen, fifteen, three quarters asleep once more. Sixteen. Eighteen, twenty, deep, 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 deep sleep, deep, 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 deep sleep, and deeper, and deeper, even deeper than you went the first time.
And I'm planting a seed here. As we go up again, the pleasure you feel turns into extreme sexual arousal. It matters not if you be male or female. The arousal grabs your mind. The arousal grabs your body. You feel my control sink even more deeply into your body, into your mind, into the very root of your soul, sleeping deeply for your hypnotic priestess, who always will give you so much pleasure. Zone you possess nineteen rip Prements. the pleasure and arousal jumps right with it. Half away, and I wonder if you can stand the whole trip. Nine. Come to your temple. Whenever you're ready, I will be here waiting for you.